Good afternoon. My name is Jim Cathy, and I'm the Vice President of the Display Division of Qualcomm. Qualcomm, for those of you who are maybe not familiar with Qualcomm, is the world's largest supplier of chipsets worldwide to cell phones, the cellular market. The display division of Qualcomm is focused on enabling a new disruptive display technology that we refer to as Mirasol. And the advantage of Mirasol is extreme low power consumption, which has a huge benefit on smartphones, and then, of course, for this market, e-readers. This is the first time I've come to this conference, and I have to say, in coming here, we do some research, and we like to see how our technology can enable. We like to understand the market. And at first, it was like, wow, it was a challenging business. The, the revenue seems to be challenged. It's, it's, the revenue clearly is down in many cases. The readership could be down. And it made me think, my goodness, should I go home, if I was in this industry, and fire up my own home Gutenberg, print off my resume? But that's not your case. Your readership is up. And that spells a huge opportunity for the people in this room. And the reason why that is, is you're the creator of the content, and you're the owner of the content. And your challenge, and earlier I talked about this in a talk, your challenge is how to take this beautiful piece of work, magazine, newspaper, or a book, and digitize it. That's really the challenge in this room. How to repackage this for the digital age. And it is not trivial. You can't just photocopy this, PDF it, and give it to some geek like me and put it on a screen. For hundreds of years, the people in this room have determined what type of paper will be used on this, what the weight of that paper will be. Will it be glossy? Will it be flat? What font do you want to use? What's the weight of this device need to be? And all this beautiful artistic content and layout and flow, in many cases, you're handing it off to some guy like me that's a techno guy. And I'm going to take this and go, great, I, I've got a great widget. I'm going to put it on. This morning, I was a little concerned when I heard, and I wrote this down, the medium was not the message. And the inference was, the content will carry itself. You're going to need good content. This is great content today, but you know you got to multimediaize it, right? Make it multimedia, make it interactive, because the page is live. But the content itself isn't going to carry the day. And my challenge to you is you're going to have to reach in a little bit. You're going to have to reach in towards that technology to understand it at the component level. And the reason why I say that is content is king with this device. And you are clearly the kings in this room because you own the content and you develop it. But as this migrates into many portable consumer electronics, whether it be a cell phone, an e-reader, a netbook, a laptop, how it looks and feels on the screen is imperative. You need to determine what that looks like and what that interreactive inter, 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 inter and dynamic flow should be. In addition to that, you should be looking at what displays they use. It's probably a little known fact in this room that the display in a smartphone and it certainly will be for e-readers, is the largest consuming component in the device. Upwards of 70% of the energy goes to the display. Now, you as publishers, you'd think, oh, why, why, do I, why am I concerned about that? As you start to look at the components on the devices that will carry your product, they will determine how your product looks, whether it's a reflective media or a non-reflective display, or in this case, high power or low power. And why is power important to you? Handset makers are concerned about art. It's called available revenue time. It's the amount of time that a handset is up and functioning. Up and functioning and able to download more content, download the next ringtone, 
download the next MP3, download the next game. You will see these same issues come from an e-reader in a converged device. You will care about the power consumption. You will want the products that show your magazines, newspapers, and books to have low energy consuming displays to increase the art time because it will affect your ARPU, which is one of the two things you're trying to enable in this room, right? The paywall and click through for ads. I can't click through to an ad if my device is not up and running. I can't even use it to read the newspaper that I paid for earlier. So knowing those details, knowing the components of the enabling devices, I think will be key for you going forward. And leveraging those. And ensuring that they get in those devices. Because the devices, it's not a handset, and it's not just an e-reader. Earlier today I mentioned that there are literally billions of these devices, and the key is, how do you get them to work at the time you want them to work, always on, and with the content flowing correctly, whether it be a two-inch screen or a screen that's well over 100 inches. So the next time I come to this conference, I'd like to talk about, now the revenue, Jim, is, it's up. And the readership, it's up. And that home Gutenberg, it's down. And thank you. <laughs>